everybody, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, I'm Tina. Hi. Yeah, we have a winner. Yep. As you probably already know if you read the title of this video. Yeah, we have a winner. I had just, I'm at my, as you can tell, we're in my living room because I need my computer because I have some questions I'm going to answer during this video. Uh, Nicole was very nice and sent me an email with a whole bunch of questions. So I'm loading up my computer right now so I can get to my email so I can get to the questions. Um, also, I need to check to see if the winner gave me permission to use their name. So I'm going to check that real quick. So give me two seconds. I'm clicking on my email to open it up. And I'm waiting because my computer's always slow when I first turn it on. You're probably thinking, why didn't you do this after you had your computer on and stuff, Tina? Because I don't think that way. I like to make people wait on me. Yes, I do. Okay, it's opening up my Gmail. It's loading. Okay, I got a, I got a response from the person. Let's see. Um, she says she don't care, so... Yes, the winner is Chastity. Chastity won August's um, giveaway. So, congratulations, Chastity. I did mail your box out today. I'm going to email you the tracking information as soon as I finish this video. I have it in my pocket, the tracking information. So, you'll probably get the tracking information before you see this video. But, yes, Chastity won. So, now we're going to go to Nicole's email. Okay, Nicole, Nicole, Nicole. Here it is. Okay. Let's open this up. There are 39 questions in total. It says, are you named after anyone? No, I'm not. Um, originally, my name was going to be Marlena, but my dad wanted Tina, and so that's the name I got. Like he, he just liked the name Tina. When was the last time you cried? Um, um, I don't remember. I know it probably was within this last week or the week before. It says, I don't remember the specific day or the reason why. Just because I, I have a hard time remembering a few hours ago, let alone what happened yesterday or the week before. But um, the last time I cried, yeah, it probably was, you know, this week or the week before. Do you have kids? Yes, I do. And you all know I have two, Anthony and Josie. Um, if you were another person, would you be your be a friend of yourself? Yes, I think I would be. I think I'm a nice person. I think I would enjoy hanging out with myself. You know, and um, I'm, I'm the kind of person that don't like to lie. Um, and if I do, I feel guilty about it. And then I have to apologize, tell the person I lied and apologize immediately. You know, ask Amy. She knows. <laughs> Um, do you use sarcasm a lot? No. No, I do not. Um, if I do use sarcasm, it's more as a, like, funny way. You know, like I'm joking around and I'll use sarcasm then. But it's not as a mean way of doing something. Um, what's the first thing you notice about people? I would say um, whether or not they're, they smile easily because, you know, usually it tells a lot about a person if they can smile easily. So I think it's, you know, if they're smiling, I think that's what I noticed first. Um, what is your eye color? I really, I honestly have no idea what my eye color is. Here, come closer. What color would you say my eyes are? I always say they're hazel, but they change colors. They have gone to silver, they've gone to green, they've gone to blue, and they just, they change colors on me. I really don't know what color they are. So if I had to sp specify a color, I'd say hazel. Scary movie or happy endings? Happy endings. I, I'm, I mean, I like, I like to be scared. I don't like to be grossed out. But if I were to, ch um, if it's a scary movie, I, I would prefer to have a happy ending. <laughs> Um, your favorite smells. I like fruity smells. Um, my perfume is fruity smelling. My body wash is fruity smelling. If I buy candles, it's they're fruity smelling. So I'd say fruity smells. What's the furthest you've ever been from home? 
Um, well, when I lived in Georgia, I would travel to New York to visit my father. So um, I would say that would be the furthest I've ever been from home. Um, do you have any special talents? Um, well, I write music. I guess, you know, I write songs. So I guess that's a special talent. Where were you born? Um, I was born in Hornell, New York. Yes, that's the city I live in. And that's where I'm living now. I live in Hornell. It's um, about an hour and 40, no, about an hour and 20 minutes away from Rochester, which is the closest city to me. Um, trying to figure out where I'm at here. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, I'm an Aquarius. And I do believe in, um, you know, like, um, signs and, you know, what they, you know, what, what, are, what are they called? Like, um, um, when they tell the future with your signs and stuff. Yeah, I believe it. I'm, I'm superstitious and that kind of stuff. If my palm's itching, I believe I'm coming into money. Or if my nose itches, I think I'm going to kiss a fool. And yeah, my nose itches a lot. So I, I haven't found the fool yet that I'm going to kiss. That's probably why it keeps itching. Um... What are your hobbies? My hobby, I like doing um, YouTube videos, obviously. That's a hobby. Um, playing the piano, I like, I enjoy playing the piano. Um, writing my songs, that's a hobby. Um, I can't really think of anything else that I do. Um, do you have any pets? Of course, I have my jelly bean. You've all met my jelly bean. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have one brother who is two years older than me. Um, next year, I'm going to be turning 47, and he is going to be turning 49. Yeah, one more year, and he's going to hit that big 5-0. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be on his butt big time about that one. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm, I think I'm grown up. <laughs> so, um, to talk about what I wanted to be when I grew up, um, I always wanted to be a teacher when I was younger. I wanted to um, teach elementary school, but I never followed that dream. No, I didn't. Who was your best? Who was your first best friend? Um, my first, my first best friend would be my um, my ex best friend named Sarah. Um, I don't have contact with her anymore. I have seen her a few times, you know, here in Hornell, but you know, we've just grown apart and. We just don't hang out anymore, you know. We're cordial to each other when we, when we see each other, we say hi, and that's pretty much it. Um, my best friend now is Holly, and um, Amy is a very good friend of mine. Uh, I met her about um, maybe six months ago, I want to say. So um, yeah, Amy and Holly are pretty much my main friends right now. But I've known Holly for like almost going on 30 years so yeah she's she's my best friend we're we're like sisters how tall are you I'm five six um I think I've mentioned that in my past videos I've always felt that I was really tall for a woman um I didn't wear heels growing up because I because all my boyfriends were about my height or just a few inches taller so I never learned how to wear heels, and now that I'm a big woman, I just don't wear them because my ankles are weak, and I just, no, no, I won't wear them. What is the least favorite thing about yourself? I would say my weight. Um, I am trying to lose weight, um, but, you know, it comes off slowly. Funniest moment throughout school? Um... I don't remember any funny moments in school. I was bullied a lot in high school. Well, throughout school, I was bullied a lot. And so then, you know, that does a lot to your self-esteem. And so, yeah, I don't remember many f funny moments in school. I was just happy to get out of there when I graduated. How many countries have you visited? Zero. I've never le left the United States. What was your favorite worst subject in high school? I would say it was math. Even to this day, I can't do math. I mean, it, if I try to do math and think too hard, it causes me to, you know, have my little shakes and stuff. But even back then, I was terrible at math. Um, what is your favorite drink? 
Um, Diet Coke, and I like Slim Fast. Your favorite animal, kitties, of course. And your favorite perfume. Um, I like that the one I get from Scentsy, number 34. I've shown it in a few of my videos. I love that perfume, and it costs $20 for that tiny little tube of it. But, you know, when I run out, I go back to Scentsy and I buy another tube. I'm very, I don't use it all the time because it is very expensive. What would you or have you name your children? Well, I named my daughter Josephine and I named my, my son Anthony. Um, what sports do you play? Have you played? I was never a big fan of sports. I mean, if I had to choose one to play right now, I'd probably choose tennis. I've always liked playing tennis. I used to play tennis when I was younger with my aunt. But, you know, with weight, it makes it much harder to run around and, you know, hit the balls back. So, I used to, yeah, but, yeah, I used to love playing tennis. Um, what are some of your favorite YouTubers? Um... I was a uh, candy. Um, I don't watch as much YouTube as I used to, but you know, when I do, I'll usually go to, um, I like the scary ones like Absolute Oddity and, um, yeah, this is, uh, like Slap Tam and stuff, you know, but, but with this, most of the time I'm either watching my TV shows, which is like, which is like, um, Right now I'm watching Big Bang Theory, or I'm playing video games. Um, right now we're playing, me and Amy are playing World of Warcraft. Um, how many girlfriends, boyfriends have you had? Hmm. Um, I've, so I was married for 10 years, and I was with my son's father for five years. And uh, before them, I probably had maybe three boyfriends maybe four not very many usually and they didn't last for long either maybe a couple months yeah they they didn't they weren't very serious um, my son's father was the longest relationship I had until I got married to my daughter's father <coughs> let's see favorite memory from childhood um in this area there is a uh, an, um, not an amusement park. It's like a recreational park. It's called Stony Brook. And we used to go there quite a bit as when I was a kid. Um, right now, you know, it's still a, a park, but they don't, you no longer can go swim in there. You, know, you can go like on trails or you can, they have like a playgrounds and swimming and waterfalls you can go stand under and stuff. But, you know, you know, over the years, it's just, it's just not as good as it used to be. You know, the the swimming you can't swim there no more and you know I'm just not in the, in the condition to go on the trails because there was one that was like a thousand steps or something like that which was literally a thousand steps and there's no way I'd be able to do that now um, what phone do you use um, I have an Android and iPhone how would you describe your fashion sense um, I don't know I'd say conservative you know, I like to make sure I'm covered up. I don't like, you know, wear mini skirts or anything like that. Um, I like, you know, pretty pastels, you know, lace, you know, that, that kind of stuff. Tell us one of your bad habits. I smoke. That would probably be the worst bad habit I have. Three things that upset you. Not a lot upsets me. Um, hmm. Yeah, one thing I could think of is like if I have a nightmare, you know, a really realistic nightmare about my kids, and that'll stick with me for days. Three things that make you happy. Um, I'd say, you know, spending time with my kids. Anthony, he's usually upstairs most of the time, but, you know, when he comes home from work, I'll sit with him for a little while, and then I give him his freedom to go play his games. and. Um, I would say probably singing at the piano, but it's kind of hard to sing when my my throat sounds like I have a, a frog in it. And um, just spending time with family, I guess you I would say. Spending time with my friends, that kind of thing. How is your relationship with your parents? I'm very close with my mom. My father died um, quite a long time ago, but I was close to him as well. But um, yeah, I have a very close relationship with my mom. What's on your mind? What's on my mind right now? 
Um, well, I went to, um, like I told you in my past videos, my daughter had seizure activity. We went to Rochester yesterday. Yeah, we went to the um, neurologist yesterday, and um, we're going to be having a test done, an MRI to do some a scan of her brain to see if we can figure out what's going on. So I guess that that would that would be the front of my what's on my mind right now. She's in school right now, and she is due home any minute. So that's also on my mind. My son's down here keeping an eye out for her for me. So yeah, she should be home any minute. <laughs> Uh, what's your talent? I'd say writing songs and playing the piano. I guess that would be my my talent. You know, I've been I've been playing the piano since I was probably like eight years old. I started taking piano lessons. We I took those for about two years, and then I took organ lessons because my father wanted an organ, so we got rid of the piano. And so I I know how to play both. It's just right now I have a piano. I don't have an organ. But I'd say my uh, my talent is playing the piano and the organ. Um, one word that describes you. Um, I like to say that I'm nice. I'm a nice person. You know, I, I've been told I'm a little bit of a pushover. You know, I'm trying not to allow people to walk all over me. And trying to, you know, instead of, you know, bottling things up inside me like I, you know, used to do. I'm trying to, when something bothers me, I try to tell the person that it's bothering me. And. Instead of just letting it, you know, build up inside me and until suddenly I explode. So, um, yeah, I, I would say I'm just, I'm too nice. I'm a too nice a person. What's your favorite quote? Um, I don't really have a favorite quote. I do enjoy, I say, I'll be back. I say that a lot. So I guess that's my favorite quote. You know, just to be funny, you know, from the Terminator, I'll be back. But yeah, I'd say that's my favorite quote. But that's the last question. Yeah, that's a lot of questions. Thank you, Nicole, for sending those. Um, I didn't um, get any other questions, so that's okay. That's okay. My life's pretty much an open book on my channels anyway, so pretty much all the questions are answered in my videos. But, yeah, so that's it. And congratulations to Chastity. Like I said, your box is on its way. And I will email you the tracking number as soon as I finish this video so you can keep an eye out for it. But yeah, so don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And here, you're going to see my little picture, so click on it. Click on it if you haven't subscribed yet, because I post new videos every day. But until next time, bye!